This is Christopher Ong. Welcome to Beautiful Living. Thank you for having me in your beautiful flora atelier. You're one of my favorite flora artists in New York City, and you have a remarkable reputation. I know that you come from France and bring your inspirations and your talents over here, and I know that you have your design philosophy for flowers. So could you share with our viewer of your design philosophy? My design philosophy, yes. I think less is more. I will say, uh, but sometimes opulence yes. is good too. And it's also about the personality of people and the interior. Yes. And we, you're going to show us some of your creations of course, in your yes. atelier. In the pleasure, yes, yeah. absolutely. So that piece is made with pomegranate, with uh, amar amaryllis, those are the amaryllis, peach yes, amaryllis, the first one of the season actually. Would you say this would be a good centerpiece for the living room, dining, dining room or breakfast room? I would say it's more for a dining room table. For the dining room yes. table. Or for a tea table. Yes. Because you have like, you know... I know, you have the grapes. You almost want to eat the <laughs> Or for a wine party. What about that? The colour is so rich, so happy. You look at that, you just want to smile. Yes, I mean, we try to create something for you without to make it too complicated, too expensive. Because uh -huh. it's made with sunflower. Sunflower is not really an expensive flower. Mm -hmm. Uh, those are very lovely actually because they have a black center and are a little bit, I, I think to my taste, more interesting than the, just the yellow one. Yes. And they are also petite, they are not too, too, too large. Yeah, right, but then it's sprinkling with some red, some orange, and this is just so rich. Exactly. So. And the vase, uh, of course, you can put a different vase, but the vase is just like gold, but a real gold. Oh, you know, okay. gold wow, yeah, yeah. I can see that. Yes, yes. And, um, and again, you have your ceiling shirt thing, you're using the stem. Exactly, so this is dogwood. Red dogwood from the garden, also that you can just bend it, just you know, very slowly. And after you can attach with rubber or with a tape. You have to be careful it doesn't open in your face, of course. But you create a movement. Ah, absolutely. Because if you I, take yeah. it off, there's three pieces here, so it becomes to be, so I think it gives like a movement. It looks like the wind passed by. The last centerpiece was created in a red vase with a gold vase. It's, they're supposed to be put together. And uh, uh, so there it's made with crab apple, very like just common crab apple, but the one that we love because yeah. it reminds us the fall is a beautiful season. Yeah. This arrangement is nice, but I think it could be a little bit more exciting. So I think it goes very well with the one that we were focusing on ah, before. This is the one, so you exactly, yeah, exactly. So this, this is will create a very beautiful. <laughs> so it could be an entrance hall, yeah. as we are talking with books around. How would you dressing up this table to complete the table? I mean, we could. I think we should put the two centerpieces that we have behind us. That we are talking about it, sure. so to see. So how, how it you? goes in the back or oh, actually uh, set up for a Thanksgiving lunch it makes me want to eat some turkey <laughs> <laughs> when you put my finger and, and you like, just have to stop it it's wet part. yeah exactly and uh, your orchid everyone with the garden has a creeper in their home so you just cut it and you hold your orchid here because if you hold it here you're going to break you're this gonna... beautiful uh, lips like that so you just hold the orchid very 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 delicately and you put your orchid so you just filled up the whole space. Exactly. So you put a, another little the pond. Nice to create a texture. Exactly. And you make it much more interesting. Exactly. And you just do the same thing with and that you one. Just keep yeah, you creep a little bit, you know, in an angle. It's easier for you to pin into the star styrofoam. And we do it again the same process. 
and you can create your little uh, centerpiece. Beautiful. Great. So now that we've finished the centerpiece and we had this lunch, which never happened, we're okay. gonna go to a oh. see what's gonna be happening. Oh, okay. Wonderful. So great. So we're gonna go to uh, the garden. If you wanna follow me. Since ancient times, people have embraced the beauty and scent of flowers. Poets, lovers, and artists have been inspired to create great works of art that we've all come to know. But you need not be rich or an artist to enjoy the beauty of a flower. You only have to stop and take notice of the world around us. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time for more beautiful living. Bye.